Hi. Today we're going to be doing some reading. And I'm going to read the story to you and the questions also. My new shelf. Marie is making a new shelf to put nice things on. So, where do you guys put your nice things? Like trophies, um, awards from your school? Where do you put them? I know when my son was in school and he got awards, I would put them in his bedroom wall. Emotion Dictionary. So, let's start with the first one, annoyed. You see the lady's face, she kind of looks upset. That's kind of an annoyed uh, face. Annoyed means a little angry or upset. I get annoyed by loud yelling. So that's why she makes that face right here. Because she doesn't like yelling. Okay, now with him, he's holding his arm like if it hurts. So it's sore. Sore means painful. My arm is sore from bowling. So that's why his arm hurts. Because he used it when he was bowling. This man is holding his head like if he has a headache. So he's stressed. Stress means pressure. I, I am feeling stressed out about my job. So he's getting a stress. He's feeling stress. He has a headache. And this lady here is smiling. She's satisfied. Satisfied means feeling pleased about a success. I am satisfied with the birdhouse I have made. So these are your emotions. Annoyed, sore, stressed, and satisfied. Ouch. This morning, I hit my thumb with a hammer. I wrapped it up to protect it. It is harder to make the shelf when I can't use all my fingers. I keep banging my thumb on the table. Even with the bandage on, it still hurts. So, look at her face, and she's in pain. So, how do you think she feels? Satisfied? Sore? Or surprised? Very good. Sore. Remember, sore meant painful. Too much to do. The shelf is finally done, and I'm ready to paint. It took a lot longer than I thought it would. It is already past 4.30 in the afternoon. I want to finish it before my granddaughter gets here. But I have to make dinner too, and it's very late. So look at her face. She kind of has a face of concern. So is she feeling proud, happy, or stressed? Very good. Stressed because it's running. She's running late. She still wants to paint the shelf and she has to make dinner. So she's stressing. Job well done. Ted is making dinner so I can keep working. I have time to paint and the paint has time to dry. Now I have a place for my granddaughter's soccer trophies. She will be so happy to see it there. I think the shelf looks beautiful. So here's her shelf. Look at her face. Is she feeling satisfied, annoyed, or startled? Very good. She is feeling satisfied because she was able to accomplish her goal, which was finishing the shelf. Now, connect the faces to the feelings. So remember what the faces look like in the other uh, page? So, uh, here are the words. Sore, satisfied, excited, annoyed, or stressed. So just draw a line. Let's, let me help you out here. Right here, she seems happy, excited. So we're going to draw our line 
from here to here. Okay, now work on the rest. What do you think? These are the next questions. Why did Marie feel stressed looking at the clock? You can go back to the story also. Remember, you have these worksheets in the packet that you picked up at school. And then the next question, what uh, two of these people feel stressed? Can you find them? Circle them. Once you're finished, if you can please send me a picture of these last two papers that uh, you have in front of you. The one with the, let me go back so I can show you. This one and this one. Please take pictures of them when you're done. Send them to me or upload them to Teams. If you have any questions, call me and I'll be able to help you. Thank you.